This is uh, part two of making whirly gig hubs. Once you've uh, marked them, which I did in yesterday's video, then we drill the holes through the center point. Uh, once they're drilled, you need to check the balance of the individual hubs, and there's a good reason for that. If the balance is off on the hub, you're really going to have difficulty balancing that wing once you insert the wing uh, into the hub. Here are some examples. This is a good hub. It spins freely. It doesn't matter which side's up or down. It doesn't end up always going to one end or the other. That's a good hub. This, on the other hand, if you'll notice, it wants to go to one side. And if you look at it carefully, you can see that I missed when I was drilling it. So that's trash. Here's another one. Once again, you can see where it does not want to stay flat. And it's pulling to one side constantly. Again, a miss. The worst kind are when they absolutely won't go down. Like this one. You see how it always returns to the same side? That's almost impossible to balance out once your wings are put together. One, The wings will always want to come back up to the same plane. And that means it takes a little bit more wind to get that wing going. Whereas a perfectly balanced wing, the littlest bit of wind will get the wing spinning. So you want to make sure you take the time and trouble and check all your uh, blocks, your hubs, and throw away the, the obviously bad ones before you get to putting wings into them. It'll save you time and trouble. Uh, once again, it's important. This one's another bad one. And quite honestly, I've had as much as a 10% failure rate when I've not been drilling holes real well. As you get older, it's hard to see. And quite honestly, I use a magnifying glass when I drill these, but I still miss. Uh, the majority will be fine. That was a perfect hub. But once again, it's really important to take the time to go ahead and check your hub balance.